Hi, my name is Steve, and today I'm going to be reviewing six different cordless soldering irons. These are our cordless soldering irons that we're going to be testing, reviewing. We've got the Hako FX901. We've got a Toolux. We have a Pros Kit. A Tech Power. A Mini Soldering Iron. And the Ready Made RC. These are all similar in the fact that they heat up in about about 10 to 15 seconds before you can melt solder. These are all battery powered. They're all cordless. You can use them out in the field. These two have four AA batteries. These two have three AA batteries. This one here, the mini power supply, can be run on a lithium ion battery type you'd use on your drone. This is a 1300 milliamp 12 volt battery. It can be plugged in right in the back here. You can also plug this in with a regular power supply. 12 volt. It's not really cordless when you do that, but it works great. Um, when you do plug this in your lithium ion battery, it has a display on it. Touch this first button here, and as you can see, temperature is going up fairly quickly. That's handy. I found that the display is the temperature is going up faster than the actual tip is. Um, it takes just a short amount of time for the tip to catch up to the actual temperature on the display. Two of these have lights. The tool locks. When you turn it on, a little LED light there, which may be handy if you're soldering in you know, darker situations. And the tech power. This one also has a light. Now two of these have push buttons as far as on off. You switch it on. This is the tool lux. You push the button for heat. As long as you're holding the button down, you get your heat. As soon as you release the button, the heat is off. The pros kit. This is another one. Turn it on, press the button, it'll heat up. Release the button, and stops heating. Um, one of the advantages I think of the push button is it automatically, as soon as you put it down, it's not heating. Whereas some of these others, turn it on, put it down for a second, it's still heating. You may even forget you left it on, which will drain the batteries. These, we notice these have some different tips to them. I'll take the tool lux here. Unscrew it, and if you can see this, it powers up. It's just like a light socket of a light bulb. So it must have a little filament inside the tip. I don't know how, how long that tip lasts. Whereas the Hako has kind of a standard uh, cartridge heater in it. Looks a little more maybe durable, maybe a little more reliable. Can't say for sure. Paco is a good name in soldering irons though. As far as price goes on these, Paco is roughly $32. Two Lux is about $15. Pros kit, roughly $20. Tech Power, about $15. The mini soldering iron, this one goes for about $66. And the ready-made RC is roughly $20. I kind of like the Tool Lux. Um, easy to use, plenty of heat, it has a light, has my push button for on and off. I also like the Hako. It's well made. You get your on-off button here. Um, 
I believe this may last longer than these other models. I can't say for sure, but it does look well made. Feel free to ask any questions or leave a comment in the comment section below. To receive future videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.